Hello, what up? My name is The Lost Drake. A lot of you guys don't know me. Some of you guys do. I have been a part of the Destiny community for quite some time. But this week specifically, there was so much new news and I definitely want to talk about it. I'm starting this new weekly update of all Destiny content as we go forward because there's so many YouTubers out there giving content and detailed information. And I wanna join in on the fun and make sure that I give you guys the most up-to-date information on Destiny each week from the TWAB and also from updated campaign coverage along with anything else that's coming down the road. Um, there is a big, big, big monumental uh, little expansion called The Witch Queen, which is coming out. And I'm so excited for this expansion. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for it for some time, but we got the new trailer uh, last week and I wanna do a little bit of coverage on it, showcasing a little deep dive into the throne world and showing Savathun's big, big baddie. Obviously, it's Savathun. Um, Bungie really did a really, really good job showing off some of the coolest weapons all the way from some of the statues, the corrupted mind of Savathun and her lies, along with Crota battling with the giant sword against the hive worm gods so and taking the power so there's a lot of stuff that's going on there's a lot of lore um but it's definitely really cool because we're going to be taking back the light and i'm really excited about it i'm excited to see what they're going to do with the void um upgrades and everything else that's going to be coming down the line and i don't know about you guys too but just the deception of sabathun and what's going to be happening in the throne realm so as we progress getting closer and closer and closer to the new expansion i'm going to be doing coverage on the twab the updates the information and not only that but we have the brand new trailer which i'm going to play right after this so you guys can see it uh in its integrity along with all the other things that have come in from this and i really want you guys to check it out deep dive look and see what you can find in the easter eggs i hope you guys enjoyed as much as i did and i know a lot of you guys have already watched this i'm a little late on the uh, uptake on this but I hope you enjoy the new trailer. Um, the Witch Queen is only less, it, it's about a month away, which is pretty crazy, and I'm super excited for it. So, with that being said, enjoy the trailer, and then after that, we're gonna discuss a couple things in the trailer. Guardian? Guardian, do you read me? We're here, Ikora. What is this place? We are in the domain of the God of Cunning. Things are never what they seem. Be careful. Tell me, O oh honored guest. This throne world is indistinguishable from my own mind, Guardian. Every step taken, every bullet fired, I keep and count them all. It's not too late to turn around. Okay, so first things off, we're back. I hope you guys enjoyed the trailer. Uh, we dive in. I mean, it goes straight in. It shows a bunch of new weapons. It shows the new exotic SMG that comes with the uh, pre-install of the Witch Queen. Um, we've got sights of the polearm and some new weapons. They show some of the throne room, throne room inside and uh, it just looks really cool. Exploring Sabathun's throne world is gonna be really fun. And I don't know if you guys noticed it too, there was little hints at uh, little architectural changes. Definitely it's the throne room of Sabathun because it warps and manipulates as we go. But the void damage and the upgrades that they're gonna do to the void subclass, that's gonna be a huge game changer, I think, in this, along with all the new updates to the weapon system and what it can provide um 
us being able to upgrade our weapons, and we haven't even got a full deep dive into that, but when that happens in the TWAB, we'll definitely talk about that as well. I also noticed, too, that that hive ghost that was in front of the Guardians in the trailer, uh, it had a broken horn on one side. And I don't know. It looked like it was helping us. I don't exactly know why. I guess we'll find out. My thoughts are um, it. we're, we're going to have to figure something out with that. And obviously, nobody knows, but we're going to find out as we go. There's definitely some sacrificial stuff with the hive uh, towards Savathun in the throne room. Um, there's definitely some new stuff with the Scorn, and then they have that big reference with the, uh, Thor Ragnarok, for anybody who's seen that, uh, the big dive down the bridge, all you need is, like, cause, you know, that, that had to happen. And then also, too, the giant bell of doom, that bell is nuts, and it looks really cool, I don't know if that's part of the raid, or if that's just an entrance into the throne room, um, I don't know, but it looks really neat. Um, and we run up that and just, it barely misses us, but just seeing all the different subclasses on the hive, it's just so crazy to think like what we have in store. Um, and there was a big, big update. And then also to, uh, Osteo Striga, the exotic SMG with other bonuses, which we don't even know about yet. Um, that's going to be the new exotic SMG. Um, and, you know, there was a big update this week, too, in the TWAB, which was pretty exciting. Um, one of uh, somebody that I've actually known in the industry for quite some time, Liana, just took over as the community manager for Bungie. And uh, she's an amazing person. I've done a lot of charity stuff in the past with uh, Extra Life and uh, some really neat stuff. So to see somebody that awesome and that devoted into Bungie and Destiny, um, it's going to be really awesome to see her kind of take the reins and uh, give us a fresh perspective and some awesome literature each week in the TWAB. Uh, and obviously, as you guys know, there was a bunch of new patch notes, and we're going to go over that right now. So one of the big things that everybody's been talking about, the 30th anniversary content, will they or will they not be taking it out when the Witch Queen comes out? And this is directly from the top. We have a game... Uh, show and we have weird sarcastic horses made of stardust and puns and we have a dungeon that will make you laugh and scream at the same time because so many have been loving the new activities a common concern is the dare of eternity and the eventful goodies will be disappearing as we say goodbye to season 15. Fret not guardians young horse whispers because the 30th anniversary content both free and paid will not be replaced or taken out with the launch of the Witch Queen. We'll have more updates about this later in the year, but expect to enjoy the Zer led adventures through 2022. So that is definitely some good news. And don't forget too, there is also the brand new Amazon Prime subscription goodies and the exotics. You get three exotics and a uh, legendary ship. Make sure you guys go pick those up from Amazon Prime. It's free goodies, you might as well. That was one of the things that was discussed. They also address the colorblind mode. We're currently investigating issues with the colors being harder to distinguish across multiple colorblind modes after 3.4.0.2. So they're definitely working on that. Stream, negative silver balances. Um, Steam, sorry, not stream. The issues resulting in players on Steam being incorrectly shown in large negative silver balances and negative silver purchases in history has been resolved. Players who encounter this issue should log out and log back in to see their silver balances correctly updated. Hotfix 3.4.0.2 resolved issues. This week's Hotfix 3.4.0.2, that's a mouthful, was released to the world. The Hotfix resolved several issues, including the Xenology quest from Xur can now be recovered if deleted and challengers proving V now successfully unlocked after players complete challengers proving four. One of the biggest things they talked about and Liana brought to our attention is artifact mod update insert orbs memes here. Uh, artifact modes have been a huge taking, talking point in our community and with the next season, we're making a few changes that will bring back some popular anti champion mods thank god while also making some tweaks to the way masterwork armor works here's a rundown from the team on what players can look forward to in season 16. the team said one of the consistent pieces of feedback that we have been wanting to act on for a while involves the unlocking of artifact mods starting in season 16 players will no longer be limited to the number of artifact mods they can unlock 
So basically, you can unlock all 25 artifact mods by the end of the season. While we have made some small adjustments to the amount of XP required to unlock the artifact mods 1 through 12 in general, the pace of unlocking these 12 artifact mods should be close to what we've seen in Season 15's artifact. For each unlock after 12, increased XP will be required for the next artifact mod unlock. So the choice of which order to unlock mods will require some decision making. And if you change your mind, you can reset your artifact and make the picks again. So it's really nice that they're doing that. They're allowing everybody to upgrade the artifact all the way to level 25 if you want. Unlock everything so you don't have to be restricted just to the 12. But it is going to be a little bit more of a grind to get that XP to unlock all 25 mods. But it's pretty cool though because now you can get everything and you don't have to worry about it if you like to grind out and get everything unlocked like right off the bat which a lot of people do um you have that option now and it gives you something to grind for in the end game so pretty sweet i think with this week uh it was definitely a good start to introduce myself and get into the destiny community a little bit more wholeheartedly uh i've been playing this game pre-alpha since destiny one I love this game. I used to be a die-hard uh, Halo fan. Still love Halo to this day. Loved Halo Infinite. But I, Destiny is my number one game. I play it the most out of any other game why I live stream on Twitch. But I just wanted to get this out there and talk to you guys and get a little bit more of a scripted procedure. Talk to you guys. Get to know you guys. And I hope as... I get a little bit more involved in this on YouTube. This is my first go at this, so I appreciate all the love, the likes, the subscribes, and the follows on my official YouTube page. Please drop that like. Show me some comments below. Let me know what you liked about it, what I need to continue to improve on, and what I need to make sure I'm covering. Um, I know my stuttering and, and going back and forth on what I'm reading will get better as time goes on, but it's so great to uh, meet each and every one of you, and I hope we can grow this channel together. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend, and you guys take care. See you next Thursday for the 12.